Hey guys, this is Nisa from Den of Imagination and today we're going to talk about a really special work for us, the Emperor of the Mankind. So this mini that we're going to talk about in this video, actually we designed it and we printed it and we painted it. So it's quite special work for us and um, actually here is the thing, because that we are now living the, the last year, I want to say now, 2020 behind and enter into 2021. And so there is this widely accepted superstition that how you enter to the, let's say, next year in the midnight of the last, so that it amplifies how all your next year will look like. So we wanted to finish the last year with the me to showcase wise with this special work of ours. And before I actually talk about all the technical details of the mini that I thought maybe we can talk about actually the emperor himself. So I assume that all of us, even the navies of the lore, actually knows who is the emperor and all the things he done and the battles that he won. So I thought that we can actually talk about the emperor who is the emperor, who was the emperor before being the emperor so let's talk about this. Oh, by the way this is the personal knowledge that i gathered like personally and if i would be i don't know confused in any information while this video let me know in the comment section and if you have anything to add up to the story that you know also please interact with me in the comment section and thank you from now for your interactions so who is the emperor? Emperor is actually a reincarnation of the collective consciousness, I would say, of the shamans of the time, whose bodies were um, consumed by the warp. And back then, even though the chaos was not yet fully formed, still the warp was disturbing the human psyche, and yet also the shamans were not able to use their powers or ability as before any longer. So um, they have made a decision, and the decision was to actually gather and contain all their power before they were wholly consumed by the warp and contain all the wisdom and the power that they had in one soul who was going to be immortal so wasn't going to be thread in the to the humanity in the upcoming days with being consumed by evil forces and so our emperor was born at 8th millennium in the central anatolia in currently turkey actually as a new man and therefore um throughout the millennia that he was actually living in disguise and wasn't really revealing his true abilities or nature only observing the humanity on their follies and the victories then after the millennia with the knowledge and the wisdom that he was already born and gathered through the millennia due to his observations that he revealed his true nature and became the emperor as we know now and as coming to the miniature as I said in the beginning that it's been designed by our um, 3d department and printed and being printed and made, painted by our studio and it's one of a kind because um, it is actually belong to a bigger army which are custodas and so this was a special request from our client that we were so happy to <laughs> fulfill actually so by the painting wise that we approached all the um, armor with the you non-metallic know, metals and the um, design wise that it's been created kind of it's been created based on many artworks actually really so that we are really happy to be honest <laughs> with the work that we created i hope you guys liked it as much as we did and so this is it from this project guys i hope you liked the video and keep in mind that you can always contact us for having your own um, custom made characters and miniatures we have a special department for it and i'm even leaving the intro over here so you can watch and thank you for watching us if you liked the video don't forget to smash the like button and let me know in the comment section what you think of it see you in the next one and happy new year bye bye